Okay, hello everyone, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to show you how you can import anything that you have planned, for example, on another app or whatever you have typed on any any platform, any software, so you can trans you can uh, import it to a Word file, oh, sorry, an Excel file. And then from Excel file, you can import it straight to iDosio. Right, let's get straight to it. Okay, for example, I'm going to show you first. Here, I have um, a planner. So, for example, in our department, uh, we have a shared drive, and then we have for each topic, we already plan it for each lesson, and it should look like this. this is the bare minimum, whereby there's a title, and then there's uh, objectives or outcomes of the lesson. And there's requisition, for example, to send it to the lab technician. So it's as simple as this. For example, in this one, we have about six, I believe. So I think there's like six, six lessons. Yeah. So for example, from something like this or from any uh, file that maybe you have an Excel planner or you have a Google Sheets planner, whatever, you can import it straight to iDosio. Okay, so for example, it should look like this. So if I have uh, my planner, so what I have planned, it should just appear on here straight away. For example, so it's all automatically populated into the planner on your iDosio, right? So that's what we're going to do today. Right, so here's what you need to do. So you need to make sure you're in your planner, you need to go to your class, so for example, I have 10Y1 here. I'm going to hold tap on this. I'm going to select open class. I'm going to tap on open class. It will open the class page. So you need to make sure you're on a diary tab. So this is a diary, right? And then at the top right is a hammer icon. I'm going to tap on it. And I need to download a template first. And then I'm going to fill the template with my information, whatever I've planned, and I'm going to import it later. Right, let's say I want to download a template and I can select whether I want to download it from the current date, which is the 60th of April, or an empty one. In this case, I'm going to select an empty one. Okay, and then I'm going to save it somewhere. So let's say I'm going to save it to Drive. Okay, and then I'm going to save it to any folder, my Drive. Let's save it there. I'm going to upload it. So now it's saving to drive. There we go, done. Right, now what I'm going to do is, for example, I'm on my Windows here. So you can do this straight on the iPad app. However, in this case, I want to do it on the Windows. So you can download the template that you have uploaded on Google Drive. So it should look something like this. Right, this is a blank template. Or like this. So this is the number of lessons, whatever, and then this is the date. You can put the date here and the content you need to put right next to it. And you can add a class name, for example, something uh, to fill in here. So you don't get confused which one is which, right? And then there we go. This is the template. So you need to fill in this information there. So let's say, for example, here is my planner that we have used uh, in, a, in the science department. So I can just copy across each one into the template so it should look something like this so i've got it here so i copy across uh in this template okay there we go and i can add the date here if i want right let's say if i want to add a date Right now, uh, you don't actually have to fill those dates. I will tell you why, but you can if you want to. I will tell you why when we're going to import it in a minute. But right, once you're done, you need to save it and then you need to upload it back to your Google Drive. Right, you can upload it back to Google Drive here. Okay, now once you uploaded the Excel file on Google Drive or any cloud storage services for that matter, so you can go back to your iDosio app. So I'm on iDosio app. I'm on my diary for the correct class. 
So I'm going to tap on the hammer icon. I'm going to select Import SLS Diary Template. Okay, got it there. And then I'm going to look where my file is. So let's say I've got my file here. So I'm going to tap on it and then they will ask uh, what date would I want to start with. So the first lesson, the first um, lesson that is on a template, what date do you want to start with? Right, it detected there's a seed period, which is correct. So I need to change the date. So let's say I want to start on the 20th. There we go. And then I'm going to tap import. It's done, right? Click tap OK. And there we go. It's automatically filled in the correct period or the correct day that I have the lesson based on the schedule that I have configured. Right? If you notice on my Excel sheets, I put the date 20th of April and the 21st and the 22nd. But I didn't realize where on the 21st or on a Tuesday, I don't have a lesson with them. Right? That's why it's optional when you wanted to put the dates because it's automatically configured, automatically detected by the app uh, to fill in those lessons. Right Now I have it on here. There we go. Right now, if I go to my planner, my weekly planner, so there, you can see that it's already filled in there. So I know Monday, I'm going to teach that one, Wednesday, I'm going to teach that one, and then Thursday or Friday and so on, right? There we go. You said the week after, there we go, right? As easy as that. And you can customize further. So for example, if I double tap this, you can customize this further. You can add the icon for that lesson. It's a bit quite practical. So usually I like to add this icon. And then there it goes. So I know it's a bit quite practical. Something like that is highly customizable. Okay, now I hope this video has been useful. Uh, if you have any comments, leave it down below. If you find it useful, give it a thumbs up and go watch more videos from me, especially when it comes to Ideas Your App. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.